Authorities say he threatened mass murder, but now he could get out of jail after meeting strict conditions. The Snapchat threat prompted nearly a dozen districts to shut down summer school programs last week. I'm John Holtz. I'm Lauren Halifax. The judge is now considering a proposal for his release, but it would require him being locked down at a rehab facility. Fox Force Jacob Kittlestad joins us from the courthouse in Independence now. Jake? Well, Lauren, here's the deal on the table. It would be a $30,000 cash bond. He would be required to be locked down in a rehab facility, and he would not be allowed to be in the presence of any guns. Now, compare that to the situation that he's in right now, which is no bond, meaning that there are no conditions that would lead to his release. 19-year-old Treshawn Hardridge is charged with first degree making a terrorist threat a Class D felony. According to the probable cause statement, on June 14th, he posted to Snapchat, Mental health is important. I'm going to start killing people, mass murdering. Don't test your luck with me. He also referenced, quote, the next big event, pushing school districts, including Blue Springs, to cancel summer school programming. Hardridge would tell authorities he was being sarcastic. But today in Jackson County Court, prosecutors say it is serious because he had the means to carry out the violence, saying he intentionally evaded police after the news broke on the school cancellations and that he lied about having multiple guns as well as ammo in his possession. In addition, prosecutors said that they were concerned about his release given the community impact. But Hartridge's attorney argues that, quoting, this is a case that got on the news, suggesting that his client's situation is being handled more severely because of it. He also argues that, once released, his client will immediately go to a rehab facility to address an issue already mentioned in court documents, a Percocet addiction. Now, Hardridge's attorney and family both declined to comment today. This issue is going to be decided on a different day. That's July 11th. The court and prosecutors both want proof, John, that the rehab facility he's going into would have lockdown capabilities.